What's up guys, I'm Steven. Welcome back to Dad Engineering. In the last video, I showed you the excavator I built my son. In this video, I'm gonna show you the pneumatic components. I will be posting the drawing package soon, so be sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications. I already talked about the cylinders in the last video because they played a big role in the mechanical design. They're operated by pushing air through one of the two ports. They're not that useful, however, on their own. They need a method of directing which side is getting the air. And that is where the directional control valves come in. These control valves are five port, three position. Port is in reference to connections, three on one side, two on the other. These two on one side are connected out to the cylinders and then on the other side, we've got the pressure port where I'm bringing my supply in. And then on either side of the pressure, those are my exhaust lines. Three position is in reference to the control positions. I've got forward, which moves the cylinder one way, backward moves the cylinder in the opposite direction, and then center, which does nothing. It's a closed center valve and you notice that there's a spring return to center. Thought that was gonna be a little cooler. This valve on the end is a rotary control valve and I'm not really using it as it's intended, but it does the trick. It gives me a nice sturdy block that I can hook my hose up onto, onto this quick connect connection. And it gives me a way to turn the air supply off and on. Whenever you have an energy source like compressed air, it's a good idea to have a way to shut it off on your control panel. Another important valve helps me control the speed of the cylinders, and that is a flow control valve. I have them going into both sides of each cylinder. Control the flow of air by adjusting this knob here. This is the pilot operated check valve. It allows air to flow in one direction only, except when the pilot line is pressurized. Having these valves causes the cylinder rod to maintain its position even when the control valve is closed. And lastly, this is a back pressure regulator. It traps air behind it until it reaches the set pressure. I get to set that pressure on this dial. I set it so that the boom cylinder won't retract until I force it to on my control valve. The backflow regulator gives me a smoother, more controlled retraction under the weight of the boom and the bucket. The best valve to use for that would be a counterbalance valve, but those are about $200 and that was not in the budget. I am always looking for new project ideas, so please leave in the comments any ideas you have for me to build next. I do plan to post a drawing package of the excavator. I'm making a few more improvements right now, but as soon as I do, I'll post a video about it and include a link to the drawings. So be sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you get notifications.